Shabi, I'm so happy to be with you here in Rome and uh, get a closer look for the first time to this uh, stunning high jewelry collection. Thank you, Soya. Thank you for uh, uh, being here with us. Thank you. Uh, yesterday I had a look and I fell in love with the colors, mm -hmm. sunlight jewelry. Yes. First, why you call it sunlight jewelry and why the launch is in Rome? Well, first of all, we were inspired by really the spectacular show that the sun creates when it goes from sunrise to the daylight and then sunset, uh, the, the effect and the mood that it creates in a different way on the nature, on the sea, really creates a very emotional effect and we were really inspired by that. Um, and this is the reason why we decided to create this Sunlight Journey collection. It's a fourth, fourth chapter of, of a journey that we started already. And last year we had Sunny Side of Life collection. So it's really the following uh, of this uh, territory of uh, exploring the sun effect. And why Rome? It's a good question. Why Rome? Rome because it's really at the center of Rome there is art. Art is everywhere. And on top of that, it's really art that meets the true art of vivre. And that's exactly where we, Piaget, we wanted to share our passion for art because we definitely create pieces of art, uh, creating beauty in high jewelry and in watches. And we also felt that really having a place where we can meet our creations and the Piaget Society that you also are part of was absolutely wrong that we had to choose. Amazing choice. Thank you. I am in love with all the pieces, especially the, the how fine they are, how easy yes. to wear, and at the same time it's high jewelry, lots of stunning uh, uh, stones in them, and set in a very easy way, as yes. if I can wear it every day. But that's a, you're absolutely right. That's exactly the, the what we're trying to achieve, because when you uh, basically go for such a piece you have to also feel very at ease with it you have to feel part of it otherwise it's very difficult to wear uh, a piece of high jewelry and it's true that we're working a lot with very fluid asymmetric kind of uh, design and wear it's very organic it's very close to the skin we always worked on a fusion almost uh, between the skin the, 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 the person and uh, the piece and that's the reason why we worked on very thin very fluid, uh, completely articulated, as you can see here, um, on our hydrogen. And the degradation of colors. Tell Actually, me, well, how do you choose? It is all about color, huh? about yeah. color exceptional stones. So it's true that we worked on different um, uh, creations. Here you have a very thin mosaic of emerald, and you also have black opal in this uh, necklace. So it's a combination of two very interesting stones that each of them have as a certain uh, emotion in them and we worked really on the degradé and I think what is interesting is that everything is asymmetric. You don't find symmetry. It's really the, the organic way of nature. Uh, it's a very piece of art in terms of setting the stone instead of being able to calibrate all these stones. Um, and what we like is that it creates this very radiant and, and solar effect and again in a very, very light way. Um, and this one is also um, a cascade of blue color, Marquis cut uh, stones. Uh, this is also one of the signature of Piaget is to shape these uh, diamonds and, and sapphires. And this degradé really has the effect of the sea and the sparkling effect of the zenith. So um, we are very, very happy with uh, uh, these pieces that I think expresses really what we wanted to do with the sunrise and to, to the sunset. sunset. And the star piece was for me this beautiful yes. secret ring. Yes. It's amazing. This is also absolutely a piece of, of, of beauty and a cre cre very creative piece where basically you have a, a, a ring that is a secret ring, as you said, so completely so stone set with diamond and sapphire. And, and when you open feather. it, you have the feather marquetry, very, very tiny. You can really see it's very minute. It's a piece of uh, work of art that we do with uh, our uh, feather artisan, Nelly Sonnier, that works with us. And it's very interesting because it's uh, very well combinated between the stones, the gold, which is also very Piaget to craft the gold. And, and then you can wear it also open, and it's almost like a two, I wear two rings. <laughs> yes. yes, because it feels, like, the other side. it feels like having two rings. Yeah, so it's a piece of art. This is a piece of art that you can wear also during the day, during the night, you can wear it a little bit everywhere, I everywhere. feel. So we can see also attention to watches. Yes. Um, here we can see the three uh, 
lights of the day. Yes. Starting with uh, absolutely. So we're starting with the daylight. Uh, the sorry, the sunrise, daylight, and then the sunset. And it, there are three unique pieces. Really, a, a combination of a, a complete exploration of our theme. Um, and we are working with this. It's a very very exclusive technique that we work with um, NML. NML. Um, we have also a very expert artisan that works with us on that. Um, and it's a special NML because basically you have to um, draw the lines with a, a kind of a very thin, thin. string of gold. Yes. And then you put layer of, of enamel and then you, you burn and then you put again enamel and so on. So it's really a very, very small technique, very difficult. Uh, that's why they're unique pieces. Um, only one. Uh, only from one. Each. Only one from each. Uh, Shabi, I noticed for the last two years the rise of jewelry, the focus of Piaget on jewelry yes. and high jewelry, yes. especially at, after the success of Possession. Yes. It became the must have bracelet mm -hmm. and now pendant that we see. Tell me about this shift because before being CEO of the company, mm -hmm. you've been working on this project, yes, I'm absolutely. sure. Yes, absolutely. Well, the thing is that Piaget is one of the rare maisons that has the chance to talk to men, to women. To, thanks to watches, jewelry, and also high jewelry. And we can also have very exclusive pieces, but also daily pieces for daily wear. And having all this variety is an opportunity, is, is, is a gift for Piaget. And to reach women anywhere. Yes, and to be anywhere. able to really explore a complete, let's say, family, and everybody can really feel part of Piaget. Um, and we had explored very much the watch side for a certain time. So now we decided also, since two, three years, to explore and accelerate the exploration of the jewelry side. Um, Piaget started the jewelry uh, at least since uh, the 50s when we had our workshop in Geneva. Uh, that's where really we started to do uh, big pieces of high jewelry. And since then we never stopped. Uh, but uh, now we, started to, we decided to really focus on it and, and to create this holistic approach on high jewelry. The Middle East has a, has a special place in your heart. Yes. We feel this, like Piaget became a very active, uh, very active brand in terms of customers, media, and your presence specifically as a CEO being in the region and meeting uh, the customers. You have a very humble personality. How do you see uh, the market for Piaget in comparison to the rest of the world? Well, first of all, it's true that I have the Middle East has a special place in my heart. Um, for probably family reasons, um, but it's also a market that I discovered a long time ago. Um, and it's true that the culture touches me first. Uh, but second, uh, Piaget has also a very long history in the Middle East. Uh, Piaget arrived in the 60s in the Middle East with amazing agents that were working with us. And since then, we never stopped. And it's true that today, what I feel is that the women in the Middle East and the men are absolutely transitors. They feel very, very quickly what is going to be the must-have, and, and and that I think is very exciting. And there is a very strong engagement because uh, between the Middle Eastern clients or friends and uh, Piaget, True. and uh, that's the reason why we love to explore and to talk and to share because then we have so many invaluable uh, feedback input that we really integrate. So first of all, the women are not only trendsetter but also trend early adopters straight there is something and then we understand uh, and they are very honest I think transparent and they give me a lot of very honest feedback which I like and you worked on them and I absolutely worked on them yes uh, you inspire me you inspire a lot of women at, at a very young age to become a CEO of a company uh, it's amazing how would you uh, simplify for me in few words the reason or the secret of your success in a career like this um, one probably curiosity and a real ambition and a passion for what I like to do um, and being very um, believing to what I think is, is the right but for sure uh, the success never comes alone the team is also a big part of the success and at Piaget we are a very strong family uh, there we ha I have the chance to have uh, people around me that have been there for a long time that know the brand and are very passionate and I think this combination is just a uh, the success factor is really amazing creativity, amazing people, and somehow uh, some uh, some people at the top that leads and give a vision. But for sure, the vision is 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 what Piaget is about. It's not really uh, me as a person. It's what Piaget is about. That uh, is it, my mission is to bring Piaget from where it is to another stage. But Piaget is going to be there for the next probably 500,000 years, I hope. 
and uh, our mission is to stay true to Piaget values, uh, authenticity, and to move and the needle always further. I'm so eager to watch you grow the brand more and more. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Shabi. Thank you very much, Toya.